All right, here we go. My first attempt at turning a KX450 into a timber sled. So, first of all, you need heat. Uh, that's what that's gonna do. 10, 10 degrees today, which is seasonally cold for Castle Rock. Need a few beers in the fridge. If you get stressed out, gotta have that. Got our parts, our front ski, and the timber sled. So first off, it's gonna be taking the plastic and shock off. So, first attempt, here we go. All right, I'm back. Um, so I took off the uh, rear swing arm. I kept it all together, pretty much like the instructions said. Um, basically, that took me one beer, so I'm on two. Awesome. And it really came off pretty easy, uh, being for first time. Uh, the best thing is, is you're going to need a hammer and some punches to get the shafts out of the swing arm and the shock the shock bottom here um so I, you know honestly that wasn't too bad here what i do is like for washers and stuff i'm gonna i wire them on spring so that i don't lose them because if i don't i guarantee i'll lose them my memories not what it used to be so there is the swing arm all still intact that's the easiest way to do it keeps everything together um so I believe next is going to be attaching the timber sled to the bike. So uh, I think we're swinging in. Good luck, or wish me luck, haha. -ha. I wish my feet wouldn't be freezing. This little 85,000 BTU thing is not quite doing in this 10 degree weather. My toes is cold, cold. All right, off we go. Oh, the one thing I did forget to mention is um, I am taking off my rear brake. So I detached that um, because I'm not going to need it. I'm going to use the front brake for the rear brake. And that's an extra option that you can buy. And that's why I got this extra long brake cable that will reach to the front. So my rear brake will be run with my front uh, brake reservoir. So that's always a big plus. And I think that's the, kind of the standard way people like to ride the timber sled. So I'm pretty excited about that. And plus they say that the uh, brake lever down here, when you have that on there, it gets plugged up with snow and stuff. So it's pretty much what you want if you do buy a timber sled kit. All right. Did I mention my feet are cold? Okay, so we do have this timber sled on. It's basically the strut to the shock mount. And then the uh, timber set basically mounts on the uh, swing arm, which goes through the engine block here. And that's pretty much all she wrote. I had to take off my carburetor or my intake box because I had a broken piece. And that's I don't think I really needed to go that deep, but it cost me a little extra time. Um, so now basically it's going to be putting the brake on and then the front ski. I got a few parts left here. As you see, bolts everywhere. This is actually the piece that will go behind the sprocket to keep the chain from hitting the engine case. So that's a spacer that was needed. And then this will be for the, uh, this will be for the uh, front uh, shock and uh, ski. So it's coming along. Um, I'm only on beer three, which isn't bad for me. <laughs> See, only two. I got one open somewhere, but I can't remember where I put it. Dang it. Well, there it is. It's on my boat. Huh. Cool. Sweet. Oh, yeah, and I'm not very good on maintenance. If you can see my uh, filter here is kind of dirty. So I'm going to clean that. And so much for the heat. My... Uh, Parts per million on carbon monoxide was starting to get pretty bad. That's what this thing here was for. 
So I turned it off, so now I'm freezing. Oh, wait, there's my GTR. Oh, nice, sweet. That's my baby. All right, so now next time I'm gonna have hopefully most of the bike together and most of the bike together and get the front ski on. Cool. Oh, the other thing was um, I have it up on a stand, as you can see. So now I was instructed to take it off of the stand before you tighten down the bolts. That's why I've got them loose on each side here. And once that, that way there won't be any uh, uh, shock preload that we have to deal with. So I'm going to take it off here shortly and then tighten those down. Yes. Okay, one thing I ran into was um, right here on the strut top. If you see the spacer here is on the right side of the strut bar. And the, the uh, instructions said to put on the left. But hopefully you can see that. But if you look at the sled from the back, that's where it's straight. I had it on the left side, which the manual said, and it was totally veering off to the right. It did not look straight. So I checked with a few people and they said, you know what, it's a strut bar. Um, if it looks right, it's okay, because it's not, it's not that important that it, that it uh, has to be what the manual says. But why the manual says wrong, I don't know, because to me, this looks right. Otherwise, it's gonna be looking, it'll be leaning off to the right. It's not centered exactly with the frame of the bike. So that's just an FYI, and I talked with the one of the dealers, and they agreed with me. So hopefully that will help somebody. Cool. Okay, well... Just about complete, just gotta get the finishing touches, uh, get the plastic on. Um, so here it is, KX450. Now timber sled. Job wasn't too bad. First time, you know, it took me a little longer, obviously. Mainly, the, the biggest part is the, uh, hooking this thing up is your uh, strut tower, which goes to the top of the strut, or the shock, where the shock was mounted. Hopefully you can see that which attaches down in here on the timber sled and then the balance of it's hooked up right here on the uh, swing arm which goes through the motor the, the spindle that goes through the motor there so pretty amazing how simple that is um, works great on the KX I had to do a little work on my air box it had some cracks in it so it took me a little longer um, exhaust fits I've got the brakes set up which I still need to bleed um, and it goes from here all the way back to the disc brake there and the line that was I ran actually ran pretty well I might have to zip tie just a wee bit here so I don't touch the motor so there it is the front was pretty simple so here's the front um, you got two fork clamps that are mounted with this crossbar here and they're just mounted right in through here to here and these two nuts to the clamps uh, and then there's two spacers right here that goes through your actual original axle on the bike so it all looks pretty smooth i don't know i'm pretty pumped to get out and ride it see how it runs have to get a new air filter that mine was pretty bad once i get that i should be good to go uh, the chain was a little bit of a pain putting the chain on, but I got to it. I'm hoping that we're all good there. Here's your adjuster. You see how tight that thing runs. All right. Well, that's it. Hope you enjoy Chad's little workshop. Later.